All right, so this is gonna be a video of my 1985 Redline RL22. I did one not too long ago about on my Hutch Pro Star from 1983, but I figured I'd do one on this one as well, given that uh, there's been some interest from people. And uh, I'm gonna give a little bit of background about how I got this, um, the work I did to get it to look like the way it is right now, and um, you know, give you as much information as possible on this bike. And, and uh, I'll go over each part um, in detail so that way uh, you have a good uh, you guys to see what a really nice example of a 1985 Redline RL22 should look like. Now this is finished in turquoise uh, that's one of the colors that was available back in 1985 uh, and again this is the RL22 okay this is the higher end one um, what else can I say about the background? Oh yeah, so so let me start off by saying um, this bike originally started out as just a, a frame and fork that I purchased um, from somebody on eBay. I'd say maybe about, um, I'd say about maybe five, six years ago is when I bought it. And when I bought the frame and fork, um, it wasn't this color. It was like a, a uh, like a, the first half was cranberry, but the back chrome uh, is as you see it. You know, so this chrome, I'm gonna get in on it, is original chrome. It's never been re-chromed. And you can see that by looking at the welds and the quality of the chrome there. Um, and because of such fantastic shape, this is the reason why I bought it. Um, so what I did was I sent it out to a very popular person who does a lot of BMX bikes to be repowdered. And you know, this is the color I went with. And the reason why I went with this color is because of these uh, Paragram Master Graphite Composite wheels. They're also turquoise. Uh, you know, it, it, it looks a little bit more bluish, I think, on the camera, but it's uh, it's it's a slightly greenish tint in real life. But I'm not sure what a camera's not getting it. But anyway, so the frame was all redone. No repairs, no dings, no dents. It's a very clean frame as the type of type of frame that you'd want to get your hands on if you had to build one and they're pretty rare now to find something you know this good a shape all right um so again the chrome on this thing uh, is one of the reasons why i i bought it is is absolutely i'd say as mint as it can get you're not going to find anything that wasn't re-chromed right so so we could see that now the fork okay i'm going to zoom in on the fork if you look at this fork look at that chrome on that now this fork did not look like this. I had to have this fork re-chromed. So the fork was re-chromed, and the, the chrome plater that I used did an absolute fantastic job on this fork. I mean, look at this thing. There is not, this has gotta be one of the best chrome, re-chrome pieces I've ever had uh, done. But if you can see that chrome, it's perfect. These dropouts, perfect on both sides. Right, take a look at those dropouts, right? They look really nice. So the fork is in great condition. No cracks, no dents, no nothing, no repairs. The thread, the threads that go to the, um, into the Hata headset there um, are also in perfect condition. So, so there you have it. This is 1985 frame and fork. And uh, just so that you know, the serial number on this one starts with an RE00. And that's what's stamped on the bike. So the E stands for 85. Uh, that's how you know. All right, so um, so why don't I start from the top here, okay? Uh, starting from the top, let's talk about the handlebars. These are your forklifter freestyle handlebars. You know you know that because of the, the freestyle uh, bend in there. You know, these are red lines you can still see. If I've tried to focus, it says red line there. Again, this th these, um, the, these I bought from somebody, I think, off the museum, and I had them repowdered all at the same time uh, as a frame. So all the all the turquoise powder is done at the same time. This is a Redline uh, Freestyle Forklifter Stem. It is stamped Suntour, so it is a Suntour stamped Redline Forklifter Stem. Okay, and this one here, again, no issues with the threads. Everything works the way it should. Um, I did have an issue at one point where the yolk came out of the, the, the stem itself. I pressed it back together, and, and it hasn't caused this issue since but yeah it's easily solvable if it does pop out again there's ways to fix that um, so uh, the headset here is a Hatta MX-10 headset 
I believe this was re chrome not by me, but by, by someone else. Um, again, super nice. Had set of cups in a really nice shape, as you can see here. Really good shape. Okay. Um, just coming back up here. These are your Diacomp 128 uh, Tech 6 uh, locking handbrakes on both sides. Okay. Um, I don't recall if these were 1985 or not. Um, I, I have to look inside and see if there's a date stamped in there. Uh, but there's a chance they might not be. Right here, these are the uh, original OG um, Oakley B2 grips. These aren't repops, these are originals. Okay, original Oakley B2 grips in white. Okay, here they are. That That's a little bit of dirt when I put them on. Um, they're white, so they're pretty delicate. There's The donuts are on there, uh, but you can see they're in fantastic condition. Uh, let's talk about the brake cables. These brake cables are turquoise. They match the bike. Unfortunately, they're not die comp. Um, this is probably you know, one of the things that irritated me that I couldn't find these brake cables. Uh, but nonetheless, they do match in color to the rest of the bike. All right, coming on down here. Here's your um, Freestyle 880, you know, die comp brakes, you know, with the, with the teal inlay. I'm sorry, tur turquoise inlay, right? So again, it uh, has... Those are die comps, those are dated 1985, both front and back. Here are your, uh, you know, your pegs, your red line pegs that screw into the forks on both sides. Very good condition, as you can see. Uh, excellent condition. Let's talk about these, these uh, wheels. These wheels are turquoise Peregrine Master wheels, as you can see. Um, if you look at the front, there's almost no brake rub on there whatsoever. You know, really nice condition Peregrine Master wheels. Um, hard to find in this type of condition okay and I believe there you go they even have a decal still see uh, so so whoever had these before me who I, the person I bought it from they bought it from someone else who uh, had them in their collection never used them or barely used them or something along those lines and now they're on this bike okay um, these uh, tough, these these pads, brake pads, are just generic. They're, there's nothing special about them. These tires are the original um, Panaracer Freestyle tires. This is what the bike would have came with had you bought it brand new in 1985, along with just about all the other parts I mentioned. You know, everything here is. Uh, there you go. These are not these are not repops. These are original. Uh, these were just about near new old stock, I'd say, when I bought them, front and back. Uh, again, Freestyle Panaracer tires really nice condition soft you know um, yeah, a little bit of cracking here and there but it's to be expected but overall I mean these tires are a really nice shape um, with the bike clean and then so on so um, let's just keep moving along okay when it comes with to the to the seat post clamp here this is the Sun tour this is the, the, the broken arrow um, C-clamp, that's what they would have used as well in 1985 for this. Okay. Uh, it is stamped Suntour. If I could... S yeah, right there, you could see that. Suntour Japan, 25.4. There you go. Uh, this C-post is also a red line stamped C-post. Uh, not the best of conditions, as you can see. It's got some wear and everything on it, but... Man, let me tell you, I had a heck of a time trying to find... Uh, red line seat post now this is probably the only part in the bike that you know uh could use some work but i don't want to get a re-chrome because once you re-chrome the seat post um you're not going to see the flutes in it no more um it's just not going to look right so i left it alone and um you know, i just got over it but the important thing is that it is a red line stamp seat post so i pull it out it's a red line stamp seat post coming to the top is also another part that you would have caught you would have purchased if you bought this bike brand new in 1985 I can f zoom in on this Alina flight. There we go. So here you go, an Alina flight tech seat in near perfect condition. Well, I guess as perfect as I could get it. Uh, the emblem is still there, full of there, and, and the seat's in really nice shape. Uh, let me just go around it a little bit more. You know, as you can see, really nice condition. Okay, doesn't get any better than that. Coming back here. Again, same type of brakes that we talked about before. These are your 880s, okay? Coming down here is your uh, Redline bubble font, you know, chain wheel. This is what they would have came with. 
this one is a 46 tooth chain wheel. I don't know if you can see 46 right there. Okay, uh, these cranks are the Redline 180 millimeter single pinch full wrap cranks on both sides. Um, Chrome's in pretty good shape. I want to say it's it's bling bling looking, but it's the original finish. All right, looks looks really nice. And uh, let me go to the other side. Okay, here you go. Here is the uh, here's the other crank, 180 millimeter. Uh, and let me tell you, when this thing turns, it's smooth as butter. Can't even hear it. <laughs> um, take a look at that again top down look at that look at that chain wheel barely moves things as, as flat flat as a pancake just the way you want it um okay moving on to uh these these pedals took me forever to find these are white mks graphite uh graphite x wheels that this bike came with i mean they were new old stock look even the the end caps are brand new slight discoloring because they were old but they sat in a box for a pretty long time they were never used and so now they they sit here you know matching the the, the turquoise and white theme let me uh go to the other side here you go here's this side okay same thing really nice shape uh, these bottom brackets are um, the red line, the Techmatic bottom brackets. You know, um, really nice uh, bottom bracket set. And I don't, I don't believe the spindle is a double dimple on this one. Um, I don't believe so. Uh, to be quite honest, I don't even remember. I don't really want to take it apart to tell, but uh, I don't believe it was. Okay. Um, yeah. So as you can see, yeah, the bike is uh, superb. Yeah. Um, the finish is really nice. Came out perfect. No smudges. No nothing. Um, but there you have it. You know, this is this is uh, the bike. Um, like I, I pieced it all together again. Just started from a frame and fork. With, the, you know, the frame was in awesome condition. The fork had to be re-chromed. That's been re-chromed. And I had to find every other part um, to build this bike. So it was all pieced together, piece by piece. And I went according to the 1985 specs um, that this bike uh, came with. And if you bought it brand new in 1985, I believe the bike, as you see it now, would have run you, at least in the 86 one did, $650. A bargain from the uh, Hutch Trickstar, which was uh, roughly eight hundred dollars, with the uh, aero speeds that they had back then. You know. So again, here is that sticker. Yeah, on the tufts. Um, so. Anyway. Uh, this is it. You know, we just zoom in on these tires just in case, and then do it. So you can see that chain is nothing special. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a generic chain, it's KMC, nothing special. But there you have it, you know. Um, and that's it. All right, I'm just gonna walk around it again, take a look at it. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, there you have it. Have a good day.